All right, welcome back to Demon's Crest. We're back in Phalanx's palace. We're gonna grab uh, something that we missed uh, last time, the last talisman of the game. In my opinion, the most useful talisman in the game, and it is absolutely necessary to beat this boss, the boss for the true ending. And, like, it's just so helpful, you have no idea. This is the Fang Talisman. Cut forward a little bit. It doubles every single, it doubles your attack power, essentially. That's pretty much all it does. We do, we normally do 10 damage to Greywon, now we do 20. Uh, he will take 4 hits to kill. Fuck you, Greywon. Forever and ever and ever. One more hit and you are dead. Goodbye. Good times. I think the reason that most people find the uh, the next uh, final boss that we're going to encounter and the, the <coughs> quote-unquote hidden final boss uh, is because they use the armor instead of using the fang. It makes everything so easy. You do so much more damage than the boss does than the bosses do to you that you really don't need the armor at this point since you've already got the double armor that Legendary Gargoyle gives you. Why would you... Anyways... Phalanx said the same thing. I think he, he says something a little bit different about us being destined to die. He'll say something different when he transforms into his next one as well. He only takes like a few hits to kill too, like two or three. Pretty funny. One more, one more he's down. Pretty sure. Yep. Look at that. Easy as hell. Turns this this series of bosses into a joke. Yeah. Dialogue is a bit different. He's a bit more enthusiastic to use the Crest of Heaven. Last time he was a bit hesitant. Second phase is still the same. I like how the uh, fan talisman looks slightly different in the inventory thing on the upper right than did back in uh, when we got it. Pretty cool. Oh shit, time to actually beat him again. Really easy fight with the, with the fang. He takes so much less like uh, it will take 12 hits to kill because he has 127, well 13 hits to kill. He's got 127 health and you do 10 damage now every time to him. So 13 hits to kill. The threshold. I don't even yeah, he doesn't even finish this thing yet. Look at that, that was a complete joke. Oh, but he's not done yet this time. Oh, it was only a shadow, what? Oh shit, what's going on? Crest of Inf What? They've never mentioned this before. What the hell's going on? So you'll notice that I have full health again. Uh, I intentionally died to the boss because this boss is kind of a pain. He's one of the uh, really hard bosses of the game. So I uh, decided to start off fr fresh, get myself, uh, get, get my chances up. Say hello to True Phalanx. Oh shit. So this is, uh, yeah. This boss is really tough. Uh, the floor will hurt you. That will hurt you. The only way to hurt him is to sh shoot him in the mouth. Only when he does, when he lifts his arms and lowers his, uh, well, lifts his upper arms and lowers his lower arms. Basically when he's not defending himself, he's trying to shoot that beam. Now, the best strategy I can give is have the fang, uh, dodge the, the bolt, shoot those little balls as soon as you can so they don't get in the way, and be always, always be far enough so the upper hands can't hurt you. Usually this strategy can help me beat him without even having to use one ginseng. Because it only takes 13 hits. It's just that the, the entire area is a friggin' hazard, so it, it kinda becomes difficult. 
Also, that beam is really annoying to dodge when, you, when you're not able to uh, fly upward like this. So this is the best thing you can do, is just jump up when he's trying to shoot that laser. It's really not that difficult. I have to use one Jinseng because I'm, uh, I, uh, I got screwed around by that little ball he keeps throwing and that beam. So, yeah, that, that kind of throws me off. But I've been able to beat him with no Jinseng before. I, di I did it on my practice run. I was pretty sure I was going to be able to do it here. Just screwed up a little bit. You really don't want to take your chances with this boss. See, like, this is where I was like, okay, yo, no, you need to get right now. Because I was going to die. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, don't get too uh, impatient with this boss. Just take your time. He's not that difficult. He's still really tough. And he only take, yeah, he's only got one hit left. He starts to change color, and he's dead. He's got a really cool death animation, I think. His arms fall off. His head burns away. Reminds me of the, uh... Boss and uh, and then the guy that you know you gotta take away the head and the heart, and the body destroys itself. Pretty cool. Anyways, he threw us the crest of infinity there. I'll see you guys after the ending. And there we have it, the ending of Demon's Crest. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, you'll notice that I omitted, uh, those of you who've played this game before, you'll notice that I om omitted uh, a part of the ending. And uh, I have a very clear reason why, which I'll explain in a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, that was the the best ending. I, li I like how Firebrand's like, you know what, I'm just going to throw back the crests down, let whoever wants them take them. Such a dumbass. I mean, come on, Firebrand. Also, you get this little, nice little shot of the Heaven's Crest here, which I thought was pretty cool. And, uh, I guess that's it. I guess, uh, 
I guess the LP's over with. I guess we're uh, we're done. Cause I have to see you guys next time or something. But I can't, so I guess I'm gonna just have to, you know, go away. Where will I go now? What? Alright then, I'll see you guys next time for the true ending. What? Ah! Oh!